What's up guys, this is a trio, and we're doing a shoe review on our favorite shoe, the Dragonfly. Hey, thanks for tuning in for today. We're going to be talking about the Dragonfly, obviously. So, we're going to try to hit three to four segments today. We're going to try to hit durability, snappiness, what type of runner it's for, and why the heck do people love these shoes? What makes them unique? So when I mean by durability, I'm talking about like how long do the shoe last? Like what breaks on them, what uh, stays healthy in the shoe? A typical Dragonfly will last me a season and a half. Same with some of my friends who, like my friend Jesse Carson, who's also part of his channel. His shoes typically last him a full track season or almost or halfway through a cross country season, just like me. Then you have to buy a new pair. Then we have to go on materials of a shoe, just like right, like this buddy right here. All Dragonflies will have Zumex foam, a full length carbon plate, then fly mesh on top with six pinholes for your spikes for a better grip. Then we are going to go with the lifespan of this material, but the fly net, please don't try to take off your shoe with your other shoe because it will rip. It's not the sturdiest um, fly mesh, okay? It'll rip pretty easily. My friends have been spiked, my friends have taken their shoes off using their shoes irresponsibly and ripped their shoes. But the Zoom X foam seems to compress very quickly over time. And as it compresses, you lose your cushion and you start feeling the hard ground more often. Then with the plastic plate, the plastic plate, I don't know when it dies. I've never reached its peak where it just breaks or it just needs its own, or it just the shoe will bend. As you can see, these are about a year old. And yes, I'm trying actually kind of hard to bend these and they still won't bend. So the plastic plate is still good. So that's why I, I still use this pair for training a lot. So even though these are a year old, so good for training, even though the cushion's gone. Snap or the snappiness of a shoe, I'm talking about how stiff it is. So this is a year old spike, a dragonfly, in fact. With this shoe, if I go bend it, it doesn't bend as easily. It does bend still, but it takes a lot to bend it because of a plastic plate. The plastic plate is where the snap comes from. So when you put your foot to the ground and when you go to lift off, as you see, it bends, bends, bends. When you go, bam, it launches you forward. That's the snap. These shoes are very snappy for the common, for a mid to long distance shoe because really most of them don't have that snap most of them are not that not as light as this shoe which makes this shoe a really big competitor as you're going to see when you go into this year's 2023 track season you're going to see a lot of people rocking these shoes because they're just no one can compete no other shoe can compete against this shoe My, mainly for about distance runners and my mid distance runners probably between 800 to a 5k Possibly the 10K. What the heck do on um, distance runners love these shoes? I have to say it's because it's from how light it is and how responsive it is. It's kind of like using a vapor fly, but for cross country and on the track. You know, if you're looking for that lighter edge that's lighter than a vapor fly and then lighter than a uh, alpha fly, I think you have to go with a dragonfly because the dragonfly is technically the lighter cousin that's meant to tear up the dirt and tear up the uh, track. My friends, and what do I think about the shoe? Well, for myself, I know I love the shoe because how light it is and how snappy it is and how, how simplistic it is, honestly. I like how simplistic the shoe is in a way where it's just a plastic plate. You put some spikes in that sucker, it's just super light, and you just go, man. It, I, don't what, I don't know what Nike's doing to their shoes, but I don't know. They're adding something to them, but they're, these shoes are quick. Friends have to say they love how snappy it is because the plastic plate just gives them that nice snap to it and just allows them to just cruise at a really comfortable pace that is usually a hard pace to do with trainers on most of the time hey thank you for watching the video uh we much appreciate it if you have any recommendations or ways to help our videos grow and do better please leave a comment below thank you make sure you like and subscribe 